Hey everyone, today I'm excited to show you Rock Calendar, a powerful new calendar module for ProcessWire. So what makes Rock Calendar awesome? Let me show you. First, it gives you a full calendar view right in your ProcessWire admin. No more struggling with lists of events. You can see everything laid out clearly in a calendar view. Adding events is a breeze. Just click on the date and enter the details. Unpublished events will be gray, published events will be green. But you can customize that with a simple hook, which means it is possible to choose a color based on another process wire field as well. You can set start and end times, have all the events or custom time slots, add a description or any other process wire field. So even if you don't use the calendar interface, you can still use the date field standalone for your pages. You need to move an event, just drag and drop. Resize an event, just drag the end. It's that simple. But here's where it gets really cool. Recurring events. Say you have a weekly meeting every Monday at 10 a.m. With Rock Calendar, you can set that up in seconds. Click the recurring checkbox, set the frequency to weekly, set an end date or number of events as needed. Then click Create Events and boom, all your events will be created. And the best part? All of this is tightly integrated with ProcessWire. All events are ProcessWire pages, so you can use regular ProcessWire selectors to find them. Or you can delete one single event, all future events, or all of the series. You can also move one event out of the series. Recurring events inherit data from the main event, so even if you have thousands of recurring events, it will be very efficient. Any changes made to the main event are immediately reflected in all recurring events. Rock Calendar also plays nicely with the existing process wire setup. It can display any pages as events, as long as they have a date field. This means you can use it with the current content structure without changing everything. For developers, Rock Calendar is super flexible. You can customize the look, add your own fields, and even extend its functionality with hooks. The installation is also super easy. Here we have a blank installation of ProcessWire. First, we log into the ProcessWire admin. Then we go to Modules, New, and find Rock Calendar. As you can see, we need the module Rock JavaScript hooks installed. Fear not, it's free and also super easy to install. Just copy the name into the field below and hit Get Module Info. Then click Download and Install Now. Then go back to the Modules page and install Rock Calendar. That's it. Now you are ready to use Rock Calendar. But before you can do anything useful, we need to add two fields, either to existing templates or create new templates. First, we create the calendar template and add the calendar field that has been created during installation. Then we add an event template and add the date field to it. Then we set the family settings to allow no children for the event template and allow only the calendar template as parent. Next, we allow only event pages as children of the calendar template and we allow only one calendar page. Finally, we set the name format for child pages to a title. That's it, now we can create our calendar page and start adding events. As you will see in a second, we don't get the option to add recurring events yet. This is because we haven't installed the Rockrid module, which is a requirement for this feature. If you don't need this feature, you don't need to install RockGrid. I understand that having to purchase another module for a recurring feature might be frustrating, but please know that this approach ensures the most efficient and cost-effective solution. By using RockGrid as additional module, which is also used in other modules like RockCommerce, we avoid duplicating code and make maintenance much easier, providing you with a more reliable and robust system. Additionally, it's also worth mentioning that RockGrid is a fantastic module on its own and definitely worth the price tag. So that's it for this video. 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments or in the process via forum. See you there and happy coding.